it's completely natural to feel a little overwhelmed by the range of research methods at your disposal. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on descriptive research. This kind of research is a fundamental tool in the world of academia, particularly for doctoral and PhD students. Picture this, precise detailed data at your fingertips. Sounds useful, doesn't it? That's descriptive research for you. Now let's dive deeper into the types and techniques that could shape your dissertation or thesis. Descriptive research is all about detailing the features of a group or phenomenon. Think of it as a careful observer, noting everything without changing anything. Mastering this method is a game changer for doctoral studies. It can offer a clearer understanding of your research subject. We'll start with case studies. Think of this as a detailed look into a single subject or group. You're gathering comprehensive data, working through each aspect to construct a clear image. Case studies excel at helping you understand complex issues in real life contexts. They allow you to delve deeper into your subject, revealing nuances that other methods might miss. Next up, surveys. Here you design questions, distribute them, and collect responses from a large group. This method casts a wide net, collecting a hefty amount of data. Surveys are excellent for understanding trends, attitudes, and behaviors across a larger demographic. The secret to an effective survey lies in your questions. They should be clear, unbiased, and aimed at extracting precise information. If you found this helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us continue to create content like this. Another approach is observational research. In this case, you're essentially a silent observer, recording behaviors and events as they happen. Imagine just quietly watching and making notes. This method is exceptionally valuable for studies where your involvement might alter the subject's behavior. Then there are longitudinal studies. Here, you're following the same subjects over time noting any changes or developments. These studies provide insights into the long-term effects or trends. It's like watching a plant grow, noting every phase. On the flip side, cross-sectional studies give a snapshot. You're examining various subjects at one specific point in time. It's like taking a group photo to help you understand the current status across different groups or variables. Each type of descriptive research has its strengths and application areas. Whether it's the in-depth analysis offered by case studies, the wide-ranging data from surveys, the natural observation of observational research, the time-dependent insights from longitudinal studies or the simultaneous comparison by cross-sectional studies, each is a powerful tool for your research. The goal of descriptive research isn't just to describe. It forms the base for further research, inspires new questions, and challenges existing theories. As a doctoral or PhD student, the mastery of these methods could be the difference between simply contributing to your field and making significant strides. Lastly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content on dissertation and thesis research. Thank you for your time, and we wish you all the best in the wonderful world of academic research.